in front of me here a 15 element uh, higher gain wide band UHF aerial that's uh, available on TV trade. The IE. Um, we've added this on because it's high gain facilities and also the fact that it's uh, be ideal for use with new serial digital signals. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go through the component elements of it, which you can see here in front of you, and also the tools that we use basically is snips, uh, a flathead screwdriver, and also this length of RG6 cable. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this plastic, plastic um, cover here. I'm going to grab this length of cable and we'll just shove it through this hole here. And I just rotate this repeatedly so it pulls it all the way through. Okay. What we're going to do then is I'm going to grab this screwdriver here. I'm going to simply feed this cable through here. So this is the core cable here, and these are the arc cables here. And the idea is that each have to be independently get a good connection, but not be touching each other. So I lock this in here with this flathead screwdriver as well, and I'll just lock these in here again. Now if the core cable was too long, I'd use the snips at this point to pair down the cable. Clearly I had the cable pre-paired. <coughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah, so the final step here now is simply to slide this in. So you can just pull this here, we'll see if we have a good tight connection. Just slide this into position here. That's basically it. Okay, that's the cable attached. The reason I'm doing it at this point is it's just the neatest time to be able to do it in terms of the most leeway to get it access in. Now the next part is put the actual deflector on, which will add another six elements on. So it's important in this here that we have the elements pointing forward. What we do here is we're actually just going to get this bolt here. Just notice with this bolt, there's a square top near the top of it. And if we look at the bracket as well here, there's a square hole in it. So what we'll actually do is if we can slide this through, we'll actually lock it into position. So I'll just slide this back down again. It works quite well. Uh, this is the tricky part of the assembly. What we need to do here is we need to simply come along, slide this in as best we can, lock this side in, and we'll repeat the process on the far side. Sorry now, I'm actually assembling that back up so you know, elements need to point forward like this. So next we slide on this bracket here. There's wing nuts on this, so it's quite easy to slide forward. What we want to do is we just want to lock it in. So you can see there's little grips here that are um, slide into the small hole on the deflector elements here. Assemble it forward like that. And finally, what we can do here is just slide this bracket on like this. So, with the exception of a single transmitter that I know of and can't be loud, the transmitter will always be mounted like this, okay, rather than this way. Uh, sorry, so I'm just going to show you here the pole will actually mount in here, It'll just stick through like that. So, that's it, the full assembly. So, what's the alternative to this? Well, you can go for a lower cost and simpler. 10 element aerials such as this, which will normally do the job, but <coughs> it's, um, it just hasn't got quite the same gain on it, okay? Uh, so if you're not sure if you're in a good or bad reception area, you want to go for a wide band aerial to cover all the possible transmitters in your area, something like this it would give a better result um, or a better chance of success on it. You can go for a grid area, which would be considerably more expensive, but this actually is quite good in terms of gain. And you can actually buy this with the following accessories. A wall bracket, uh, this uh, uh, cable ties here, 20 meters of satellite cable. And inside of this thing here, we have a selection of connectors and also plugs and bolts to allow this to be mounted onto the wall. So that's it, uh, the 15 element higher gain wideband UHF aerial available on tvtrade.ie.